cruise, a MLRS cruise missile. MLRS is of course not. Some of these are going to be missiles. Radar. Uh, the radar's falling out the sky. Listening. I saw, like, there's a way to make you just, like, constantly be activated. Hi. Okay. So how's the scrap channel doing? Ooh, the laser beam's going somewhere. Oh, I'm just aiming the laser beam currently. That, we're going to get rid of the radar dish. We're not going to get rid of the entire thing yet, because it is quite a good ammo store. But, we're going to get rid of the radar dish. And we're going to build ourselves a multiple launch rocket system. Now, the best place to put this, I reckon, is in here, because it kind of looks like a missile silo. So, how big is this MLRS going to be? Well, pretty big, if I do say so myself. So we need um, the missiles themselves, the missile blocks. We're going to be building the missile um, launchers before we build anything else. So this is the right. This is the corner. Okay, so, now this is where things get interesting, so... I'm building these quite high up, I want these at least four missile blocks high, and that's not to say four, like, missile components, four missile blocks high. This is... we'll add two more. Purely because this looks cool. This is going to be such an effective missile system, I realise that now. It's going to have... they're all going to be self-guided, by the way. There's not going to be like that one which relies on the laser beam receiver. Okay, so, there's that done. Right, now we need the actual missile system. Uh, for that we need a missile controller. So need a um, identify friend or foe, and a staggered fire add on. And we need an AI. One AI mainframe. We need to connect this AI mainframe to a wireless receiver. Good. This is going to be transmitting on channel one. Yeah, channel one is going to be the main targeting channel. Channel two is going to be slightly different. Channel two. Oh is going to be uh, controlling the short-range anti-aircraft weapons. That should be connected. Okay, maybe we need to... Oh, we need a... Duh. We need a local weapon controller, not a an AI. Um, weapon controller... Fail safe. And we need a wireless receiver. Let's 
So, these are our missiles. We need to design these, because these are going to be cool. Look how big they are. Right, so we need... First of all, we're going to have short-range thrusters. We're going to have two fuel tanks and one fin. We also want a target prediction guidance. Now the warhead. So, I've decided we're going to have two fragmentation warheads and two explosive warheads. Plenty of damage. Fragmentation warheads are there to, you know, give it a bit of a buff. EMP warheads, we wouldn't worry about them, or for shields. Where is it? There he is. And the infrared seeker. Actually, we need a one turn. I'll get my wrong track. We need a one turn. That's a bit rubbish, really, isn't it? It's only got two warheads. Oh, because that has so many fins, god damn it. We need a target position guidance there. One turn there. Fragmentation warhead there. And then two explosive warheads. There we go. That is our missile system. Now, let's have a test fire, shall we? Many. Oh, they are going to be so effective in battle. I now cannot wait. Oh, it's locked on. Oh, they're arriving. Um, okay. All right, All right, let's quickly armor clad these in metal. We also need some shields. Oops, I need to remember to put some shields on. Okay, let's do some metal blocks. give it a, a cool looking lip. Um, so I'm thinking of doing it kind of like this. Then we need metal corner, I believe. No, oh no, no. 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 Metal, metal square corner. That is our missile style of that is one. Should we add another missile block? I feel like maybe another missile block might be a nice idea. Uh missile block. Just make them that bit more effective. Now I realise these missiles are going to be ridiculous. Okay, right, looks like we're going to have to go for a slightly bigger thruster, because the that thruster won't do. Variable thruster, fuel tank, fuel tank, fuel, fuel tank, fuel tank. Fins. Target prediction guidance. Right, now, we want a one turn. Now the warhead. Rotation, explosive, explosive. This is a long-range missile, by the way. God, these missiles are horrifying. Why are they allowed to exist? These missiles are going to be an abomination to reload. How much ammo does it conserve? We have... 3,000. It's going to cost us to reload them all. They're not reloaded yet. Maybe taking too long. It's not reloading them. This isn't good. You're supposed to be reloading. Maybe it's because you're like ridiculously big. Maybe I should really reduce them by one. Oh no, I don't think they do anything until they've like. There we go. Oh my god, that is all of our ammunition. 
add a few more barrels, and let's armor up the front, because, you know, I do not, let's put a shield on the front, okay, so, uh, we want process resources, we want ammo barrel, now, this is not a very efficient system, I build a gun, but, you know, guns take, you have to design a gun, missiles you can just sort of slap down, but guns are designable. Locks. What's, so metal has an armor of 10 and a health of 280. Lead has an armor of 4 and a health of 200. What's stronger than metal? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. What's this stuff? Surge protector, light block, rubber block. Hmm. Well, we're going to be doing metal blocks and we are going to be armor cladding up the doors because, you know. Who needs doors to an ammo store? And we are going to be adding a shield, right. This is the thing I haven't really done yet, shields. Well, I haven't really shown you guys yet. Shield protector, I know how to use them. They're relatively easy. Put one here. Okay, we want it to reflect. What affects strength? Ah, there we go. This is the one thing that annoys me. Can we get one of firing at 100%? Working at 100%. Okay, we might want to increase the width slightly. Alright, there's that protected. And the this missile system will be protected by this shield unit. Which we will do by doing this. Now, since this is going to be taking a lot of damage, I'm going to take the risk of putting this on an elevation. It's like a reflect angle. I'm expecting this to get bombarded. There's the shield system done. It'll protect most of it. Okay. I'd say we're ready. Oh, new AI. New AI. New AI. New AI. Quickly, before I forget, make a new AI. Another AI system. Uh, this one is literally just going to be there as a uh, weapon controller for the um, other ones. So we need an AI card slot. Connected. Connected. We need a target prioritization card. And we need a aimpoint selection card. So the target prioritization on this one will be reduced for that. So remain at that. It'll be higher for propulsion and per a bit lower on engine. Range will be a the same. Speed will be higher. Altitude will be higher. However, this guy, this guy does have target thingy association or whatever it is. Right? You don't have... Okay, you need an AI card slot. So you need the front and back one. Okay, and you need a target prioritization. Now the value for that will be higher on you. The engine will be higher, propulsion will be slightly lower. That can remain the same. Value per range will be much higher. Value per speed will be a bit lower. And you will be the same. Okay, so we need to add a thingy to you. And you'll be transmitting on channel two. Okay, now in theory, so let's just do a run of final check of the weapon systems. This one should be connected on channel 1, right? AI should be channel 1. But you are connected, right? B. No mainframe connection. That's not good. Wireless receiver receiving on channel 2. Okay. Thank god we didn't go into battle with one of our missile arrays. Out. Damage. 
or rather not functioning. That would have been quite embarrassing. You know, all this preparation and pep talk. Okay, how are we doing with regards to range? They're coming up on the island now. Now, our missiles have the advantage. So, I'll let them get a bit closer. I want them to get to at least here. I don't want their... This is their operational engagement range. I'd rather um, not get within theirs. However, our missiles do have the advantage at range. As soon as it goes over the island, we will target them um, and engage. Okay, so they're doing a final check. So, missile system is nearly online. I need to edit the shield because it's a bit wonky. Oh, you also need to be at full power. I don't see any reason why not to go. All right. Let's go check the engine as well. The engines, should I say. Engine, max engine output is quite high. Max engine output is quite high. Let's go and have a look at our shields. Are they working at 100%? Working at 100%, okay. The, uh, it's, it, we have a go. Oh, armor clad, armor clad, armor clad. I need to armor clad this front bit, otherwise it's gonna die. Expensive fortress. Eventually, I want to ironclad it completely. But for now, we don't have the materials or resources they're coming from. This is why I said when I like to turtle. I like to make sure that my home base is completely protected. Okay, let's get rid of the starting rig. Why do we still have the starting rig? No point in keeping it. Scrapping it and gaining resources. Uh, destroy shark object completely. Boom. Done. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. They're coming around the island. They're coming around the island. Get ready. Get ready to engage. Get ready to engage. Okay. Begin battle. I don't, I'm not sure if these are going to start firing. Yeah, we have firing away. And oh, do they fire people. Looks like they have the range as well. Oh no, they're just short. No, can they just? Oh my god, these missiles have range. Oh, that ship is gone. Thank god as well. Look at that broadside. Got a lot of cannons. I'm embarrassed at that ship. Also, we have more. Um, we have KKBs incoming. Tearing apart this guy. AI dead? Oh, and that's the ammo store. Oh no, and now the river is dead. Like, there's the cruise missiles. Oh, I, I just like to think that our cruise missile system is perhaps a little too effective. Incoming. Oh, it looks like that other ship finally spawned. Oh, it's just come straight through them. We need to increase the stagger delay. Let's go do that now. Where is this missile system? Let's do it quickly before they leave. And okay. Let's do it. Let's go and have a look. Oh, there's a missile. 
missiles. I want to see this. These guys are deaf. Oh, see these missiles are just too effective. I think. No. Oh. And oh, they're targeting the back. I think they're targeting the AI. Oh my god, it's just gutting it. It's just tearing the ship apart. Any second now, this ship's gonna go down. Like the KKBs are targeting it. KKBs are, are actually quite effective. It's this ship I'm worried about now. I mean, it's not exactly got weapons. It's got much... Look at it, it's got like... This really bad missile magnetic torpedo system. If you can call it that, oh no, here comes the missiles. Are they, are they do hit rather nicely, I do have to admit. Oh, and. Ooh. Sorry, mate, you got it. It's just, I really like the way that the ship is getting torn apart by these missiles. This is, this, that missile system. Level up! Hell yeah, we gotta level up. I'm not surprised, like... It's dead. It's pretty much dead. We're just waiting on the missiles now to just destroy it. Like, these... You just see, like, the damage it causes, and it's too damaged. Yeah, this is going to die. Now all that's left is to target this thing, and... Oh. Something heavy exploded. That's what happens when the game slows down. Something heavy explodes to... Reduce lag on my computer. Oh, the missile. Just missed it. You know what? That is a good success. They couldn't even get close enough to fire on us. I'm just waiting now for the missile to target them. Oh, it's firing. It's firing at these mines. They look like mines. There, they're, they're torpedoes, I see. What they're gonna find is they're gonna hit that and then they're gonna turn around. Yeah, they're basic torpedoes. Torpedo system might not be a bad idea, just hanging below. Oh, and bye. Could you go back and, like, target? Oh, and uh, yeah, he's dead. That was a successful battle. Battle finished. Very good, lads. That's, uh, yeah, our ammo production there. Definitely need to increase the ammo production. Maybe ironclad a bit more. Oh, we took the damage there. I mean, it's not exactly a ridiculous amount of damage. Let's raise the fortress. I think those torpedoes are getting a bit close there. Engine power is still good. You don't need to worry about a new engine. Very good, guys. Very good job. This is definitely our home base. We should start thinking about construction of a ship soon. But that was a success. Look at this thing. Let's have a look at the map then. Is that that? Oh, all enemies destroyed. So, we need to start thinking about our first warship. And I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to be hopping into the sandbox mode to um, go and design this vehicle. And then, yeah. So, basically, I've had a plan for this. So, it's going to be a small Corvette class. Um, well, it's going to be actually. It's, I think we'll make it a destroyer. And it will have a cruise missile system just like this. You know, down, running down the spine of the ship, a bunch of cruise missiles. It'll have a small thumper warhead system, and it'll have a set of torpedoes. Um, yeah, that's the plan. But for now, pretty good job. Save the game. Save it over YouTube. And then we'll hop into the vehicle designer. Uh, okay. Switch to designer. So we're going to switch to the designer and we are going to build ourselves a basic vessel. So this is the designer, welcome to the designer. This is where you can, you have all the resources in the world, we're going to be designing a new ship. So, new vehicle. Right, it will be made out of wood to start with. And we will ironclad it and such. Uh, oh god, um... We are just, you know... Ah, okay. Okay, how big do we want it? Oh, that's what you said. This will be the underlay. Oh my god, it's getting a bit wobbly. We can make it a carrier. Could always be an idea.
You have infinite resources here, by the way, so we need to worry about them. Expenses and all that. I mean, we will have to worry about them. We want to keep the price down. So this will be the centre of the ship. This will be where all of the weapons and stuff are stored, okay? So we need to come up with a nice design. We need to close this off, because this is where the engine is going to be. Now the engine, I don't know how we're going to design, because I am terrible at designing engines in this game. I designed one engine, it's a really bad model engine. Also this thing is... Okay, we need a keel. We need a keel to stabilise this thing. Also we need something at the back to actually hold the feathers. Let's have the propellers on. Uh, we want water. Boat propeller! Huge propeller. Yeah, let's have these. Something nice idea. Ooh. Big propeller. Um, okay, let's add some wood blocks. Okay, I know this looks a bit weird, but trust me, it's gonna work. Now we need the engine. Now, I plan for the engine to go in the back, so is it prefabs? Oh, a little lag. The game is lagging slightly. The game is lagging very slightly. Because we're trying to load the prefabs. These are all the designs that people have created. Well, there's mostly vanilla designs. I've do, I've do, I've, we've got an engine. This is an engine star. It provides 1600 power. Okay, which way does it go? There's the question. Yeah, it goes this way. Right, and then we'll get an engine extension. This ship provides us with a good amount of power. Top onto this ship, it looks a bit more stable. Right. B. It's all connected. Engine! Max power output, excellent. Um, okay, so now we want to armor cloud this thing with metal. That's where the engine belongs, in a case of metal. Now we will need a counterweight at the front. The front's where I'm planning to have the torpedo system. The ammo is going to be stored along the sides of the ship. This is going to be the engine casing. Now, as you can see, it's made our ship a bit back heavy. So let's do the torpedoes design now. Torpedoes are going to be designed against other ships. Um, they're going to be quite effective, I'll say so myself. Right. So, how are we going to do this? So, uh, let me think. Let's start with the ammo, actually. We need the ammo, because, right, the centre of the ship is going to have our ballistic missile system. So this is going to be the ammo storage here. Actually, no, this is going to be the torpedo bay. The ammo storage can go here. And this needs to be heavily clad in armour. So, yeah, this is where we're going to be designing most of our ships in the vehicle designer because it offers a bit more freedom. And then we can just spawn them in. Okay, let's add some... Raw resources? No, process resources. Some... Ammunition processors. No, not ammunition. We need some ammo barrels. I prefer the ammo barrels over the spare parts boxes. So currently this thing has 3,600 ammo. It's good for now. We'll add a bit more if we need to. But for now we need to work on the primary missile system. Okay, so boom. This is what the ship looks like now. This is not going to be the final model of the ship, by the way. This is just the underbelly. We'll have another top deck, which is going to be completely covered in armour. 
We also need a bit more buoyancy, I realise. Which we will do. Beat me. Okay, let's start with the missile design, shall we? So we need an AI, we need a local weapon controller. It's gonna be, right, we need a missile controller now. We need a identify friend of add-on. And we need a staggered fire add-on. I like the idea of doing that. So here is my plan. So we'll get missile six connectors. So I'm hoping that when we do this, it'll do it in a proper way. Our blocks. Actually, no, we want them to be able to the side of the ship. Not that way round. We want to be against the outer side of the ship. And one more. I don't know how much this ship is going to cost, but whatever it is, it's a big ship. This is one big boat. And by big boat, I mean big boat. Why is this not connected? Connect to the missile control bot. This is a missile control bot, right? Missile control bot. You are connected. Not connected? What do you mean, not connected? Connected to missile controller, ID what? Is this connected now? It is connected, okay, I have a new way. We need an identify friend or foe. One there. Staggered fire add on there. That'll connect those, and this should still be connected to the missile launcher. Yep, okay, there's the main... <laughs> That looks cool. I'm just gonna say it now, this ship is gonna be a cool ship. Awesome already. Oh no. This thing is quite unbalanced, it's caps lock. See in creative mode, you use caps lock. Right. and then we'll fill up the spaces in between. I sense this is going to be an effective missile system. Boom! The, uh, the ICBMs are done! <laughs> well, they're not ICBMs. We could make an ICBM ship, but there's no nuclear warheads in the game. Okay, now the torpedo bay. Ooh, we could have a gun on the front. I could actually, like, experiment around with the guns. That might not be a bad idea. Let's do that. Now we need to design the gun. So I've got a plan for the gun. And it's a very good plan if I do say so myself. A lot of the gun's internals are going to be inside the ship. Um, okay, so we need to go for a... No, it's not simple, it's a cram cannon. So, for a start, we need the two-axis turret. So we head this way. Right, now we need the local weapon controller. Actually, the local weapon controller needs to be within two, um... Okay, let's get a crown cannons. We need six-way connectors, uh, six-way connector. So the firing piece needs to be here. This is where the firing piece is gonna be. So let's put the firing piece down. This is where the, it's gonna actually fire the shots. Okay, so it needs to be within two blocks. So there, maybe? 
that's probably going to delete a lot of it. Yeah. Tell me that it's still controlling weapon. No, oh, that's annoying. Okay, I need to go there. Controlling one weapon. Oh, wait, no, we could just use an AI connector, surely, can't we? Right. Cram cannons, firing piece. Maybe we should just have it so that, like... Right, you know what? I have no idea what to do anymore. Um... How do we do this? This is gonna be this is a difficult job. Oh, also, uh, behind me. Buoyancy. Oh no, it's flipping on its side because the bottom isn't heavy enough. Okay, we need to put some a counterweight down the bottom. Lead blocks. These work quite well. It may seem a bit odd, but it will work, trust me. Okay, now, this should keep it balanced. Now, it may sink. It's balanced. This is the problem that they had with ships, man. Um, they tended to... The heavier sides would just tend to sink. Okay, it's caps lock again, just to get out of the water. Um, I have a plan. I have a very good plan how we can get the gun to work. And it involves something very stupid which probably will not work. But I'm willing to give it a try. So we need to connect this to the bottom. Right. So the plan is I want most of the gun to be in the ship internally. Okay, not to get screw it. I can't be bothered to try and figure out how I'm gonna do this and just put the gun on top. Actually, no, no, we're not gonna have a gun, are we? We're gonna have a the Thumper Missile System. This is going to be the Torpedo Bay. Where we are going to have an array of torpedoes. Rather effective torpedoes as well. And the reason for that is because I am uh, scared about subs. I don't want to get attacked by a sub. And yes, you can get subs in the game. People have created amazing things in this game. Because it's like the lure blocks. You can use lure command code. I don't know how to do any of it. And you certainly won't be controlling any of it. But you know, you can. So, right, we need the missile connectors to go here. No, we could put them here. That way they have a little bit of... Like this. Do we want to do this, actually, come to think of it? Probably not. Because if otherwise... Yeah, we'll do it, why not? We can still get the area behind it, and we can still hit that with a pump to get rid of some of the water. Okay. Missile controller. AI. Local weapon controller. Controlling one weapon. Excellent! Okay, then let's put on this some stuff to do with missiles. Friend of firm add-on. Important, so it doesn't target our own guys, and a staggered fire add-on. Okay, then, now we can add the actual launchers. Missile launch pads. There we go. Get rid of all these. That way the torpedoes can get out the young um, tubes. That said, there isn't really any tubes here. Um, okay, now the missile blocks themselves.
We could have differing length torpedoes. That could be cool. So, you know, like, like all of these ones are a bit longer. Why not? I don't know. I see, I see no reason why not to. And then all down the middle ones, these guys are, re are really powerful. This is a missile. This is a cruiser. Right, so, these are all going to be torpedoes. So, I would like a torpedo propeller. I would like two fuel tanks. That is correct. Fins. Actually, no. Fins. Target prediction guidance. APN guidance. Oh, I'm going to not converge because this thing does not play well one turn. Regulator. Ooh, ballast tanks. We want this one. Uh, float depth. Um, right, we want that one. Uh, then we want... So, these are the mid-arm missiles. I believe these are the biggest. So, we'll give them a fragmentation warhead. And two explosive warheads. Right, so what does the infrared seeker do? What's the difference between this and the... So, we'll find targets underwater. Most useful finding ships. Only works when underwater. What about the... What's a single pixel? Um, I feel like lure receiver. Uh, right, never mind. Uh, let's just give it... Or oh, should we give it the standard infrared seeker? Hmm. Let's just give it a torpedo sonar and see what happens. Okay. That's those ones done. Right, now these ones. These are medium range torpedoes. So we need to give it a torpedo propeller. Two fuel tanks. Fins. Target prediction guidance. And we will give it a frag and a explosive warhead. And a torpedo sonar. Actually, we're going to get rid of this one. No, no, we'll keep it. Okay. And then these ones are going to be short range. So these are going to have a torpedo propeller. A single fuel tank. A unit of fins. A frag warhead. And an explosive warhead. And, of course, a torpedo sonar. We need ballast, don't we? We need ballast on all of them. Especially these ones. These ones require ballast. Let's replace that thing there. And in C, we'll create a neutral point C, which is useful as a torpedo. There we go. All the missiles are done. God, this ship looks horrifying. <laughs> what have I done? I've ruined the ship. Um, okay, let's give it another metal. Um... But yeah, we're approaching the end of the video. I will work on this uh, in my spare time. Give it a bit. Let me finish off the weapon systems. I will finish it in my spare time, and next episode we will be back to the actual game. Um, by not designing a new boat. I'll solve some of the problems it has. No shield, apparently. The weapon systems are a bit... It's got a lot of weapons, that's all I can say. Let's try it now. Let's see if it floats. Okay, it's sinking. Rather rapid pace. Oh, it's stable! That is it. Quite a nice house, actually. If I can get this floating a little higher, it will be something going. And then... Yeah, last thing I just said there, like, thank you for watching. See you next time!